Hello everybody, welcome to Friday, it's December, I can officially say Merry Christmas, very excited about Christmas now, so if you've been following me for a while on my various different social medias you'll notice that we have actually had our Christmas decorations up for about three weeks, I got outvoted, um, the boys wanted to do it, Johnny said, let's put it to a vote. Three of them voted yes. I voted no, not until the 1st of December. I got outvoted. So the decorations have actually been up for about three weeks now. And they look nice, you know, I like it. But that's not really what I wanted to talk to you about. What I wanted to talk to you about this week was giving thanks to ourselves. So... I've had a bit of a thank you revelation that I wanted to share with you. I have started to very consciously and very deliberately thank myself. Not necessarily, I don't really say it out loud, that might sound a little bit weird, but definitely just even the tiny little things, like when I'm putting the dirty clothes in the washing machine, like, thanks for doing the clothes, Nick. It's a nice thing to do. And then when I'm cleaning the kitchen for what feels like like the tenth time that day, like, oh, thanks for cleaning the kitchen, Nick. It looks really nice. I really appreciate you doing that. And I've actually wrote myself a little note by the side of my bed. And it says, I should have bought it. It says, I love you, Nikki. And I just want to say thank you for all the crap that you've been through to get us here today. And by crap, what I mean is overcoming my sugar addiction and dealing with the cravings. That's a very simple process that's really not easy. And for going through learning how to deal with the sensation of hunger and, and not eating, which has allowed me to lose almost two stone. Like I am very close. Um, the day I recorded this was, I was at 130 pounds, which means I've got four pounds to go to reach my goal weight. And, and then I've put a note down the bottom of that to say that we will be, we or we are 126 pounds. We are a fully booked life coach. So when I've written that note, I, I'm not yet £126 and I have a very limited amount of slots left for my coaching. So I'm not quite fully booked yet, but I know I will be because I know I'm going to continue to do the work that's going to get me there. And I really appreciate that I'm doing that for myself. I really appreciate my past self for being uncomfortable on posting on social media. And whilst I love, don't get me wrong, I actually really enjoy being in front of the camera, it's not, it's not a comfortable thing to necessarily do. I feel nervous about doing it, especially to begin with. Going out onto Facebook and going out onto Instagram and LinkedIn, it was really uncomfortable and I was nervous. And I was scared, but I did it anyway. So now, I'm not quite as nervous anymore. I've done it a number of times. I'm not as scared anymore because it's kind of working. And if I hadn't have been willing to have had that discomfort, I wouldn't now be here today in the spot I'm in, in my gorgeous new little office. And although it's not new, it actually really desperately needs decorating. But <laughs> I love it because it's my office and I always wanted my own office. I always wanted to work from home. I always wanted my own business. And because I was willing to go through the discomfort of leaving a secure job, of taking jobs for less money because I knew that the long term gain was better. 
for overcoming my hunger. Like I was talking to Johnny, my husband, the other day, and I said to him, can you actually believe, considering what I used to be like, what I used to be like when it comes to food, how, how much further forward I am. Like I used to be thinking about tea at breakfast time, or maybe you guys know it as dinner if you're my international friends. <laughs> tea is a local expression for our evening meal. Um, but I, I really did. I like it. I was all about the food. I was all about what am I going to eat next? When am I going to eat next? What if I, what am I going to have? When are we going to have it? What are my dessert choices? Um, and if I got hungry, ooh, that woke the beast. I would get vicious, like really, really irritable if I got hungry. I had a day the other day where I was like, I don't even think I'm going to have lunch. I'm not really that bothered. I'm like, my mind was blown. Knowing how I used to be, how I used to be with sugar, how I used to be with food, how I used to like go over to my sister-in-law's and she makes the most amazing Nutella cheesecake. Although now I would probably find it too sweet. Oh my God, I never thought I'd be that person. But she would make, she, her Nutella cheesecake was amazing. So I'd go, oh, I'll just have one slice. And I'll, that like, it tasted good. So I'd be, oh no, I'll just have another slice. So then I'd start to feel a bit sick, but I'm like, oh no, I'm, I'm gonna have another slice. And, and I would actually be feeling physically sick, hardly wanting to move while I was so full and still going up for thirds and fourths. I don't do that anymore because my past self went through the, I'm going to get emotional, went through the effort and the discomfort of sitting with that emotion, of sitting with that desire and sitting with that urge and being uncomfortable to get out of that cycle, to get out of that pattern. I'm so grateful to her for doing that. So I started to thank myself. You know, I'm thankful that I have done it and that I will continue to do it. So yeah, try it, even just with the housework. Even the next time you hoover or clean up, thank yourself. Thanks for hoovering, Nick. That's really nice. It looks really nice now you've done that. It makes you feel so much better. Because we all look for external verification. We all look for external thanks and external appreciation. And then when we don't get that external appreciation, we feel crap. But we don't need to. We don't need anybody's external praise. We don't actually need anybody's external uh, verification. We don't need any external thanks. We just need to do it for ourselves because it makes us feel good. I would highly encourage it, you guys. Totally start thanking yourself for everything that you do for you as well as all the rest of the people that you look after, but especially for you. So thank you. I thank you for being you. Have a lush weekend. Bye.